Hey friends, this is what we obtained basically from the last lecture. This was a body subjected to a plane state of stress system defined by sigma x, sigma y and tau xy. And we found out that sigma n and tau n, which are basically the normal and shear stresses at a plane which is at an angle of theta with respect to this reference plane, we obtain sigma n to be equal to this and tau n to be equal to this. Now in this lecture, we will understand the concept of principal stresses. Now what are principal stresses basically? Principal stresses are the maximum and the minimum value of normal stresses and they occur in those planes in which shear stress is equal to zero. So essentially, I repeat it again. Principal stresses are the maximum and minimum value of normal stress and they occur in those planes in which shear stress is equal to zero. Right. So essentially, if I got to find out the maximum value of principal, the maximum and minimum value of normal stress, that is essentially the principal stress, I got to put this thing equal to zero. And if I put this thing equal to zero, I have this to be equal to zero. And essentially I have an equation. So this will come here. So this will be equal to tan 2 theta minus 2 tau xy sigma x minus sigma y. So essentially, from here we can see that at two values of 2 theta, one will have the maximum and the minimum normal stress. Right. So 2 theta at, at 2 theta and 2 theta plus 180 degree, we will have the maximum and the minimum value of normal stress. Or at planes of theta p and theta p plus 90 degree, we have the maximum and minimum value of normal stress. Right. So far, th I think this is clear. Now the next concept is to find out the values of maximum normal and the minimum normal stress. And let us see how can we do that. For example, what we do basically here is sigma n this is nothing but we call it sigma x plus sigma y by 2. So I call it sigma average is equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta minus tau xy sin 2 theta. Sin 2 theta. Now if I square this both the sides, it will be some kind of a thing like this. Squaring this, I will have this cos squared 2 theta tau xy sin squared 2 theta minus 2 into this thing that is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta into tau xy sin 2 theta right I will have this thing and if I square this thing up I will have tau n whole square to be equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square sine square 2 theta plus tau xy whole square cos square 2 theta plus 2 into sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sine 2 theta cos 2 theta tau xy. So essentially, now what we got to do is basically add this and this up. And if we add this and this up, which I will do it here, I get some kind of a form like uh, sigma n, n minus sigma average whole square plus tau n whole square, which will be equal to this plus this. So cos square theta plus sine square theta will be equal to 1. So this will have sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square. And this term and this term will again have the same thing. So tau xy whole square. And this and this are essentially same. So it will cancel out. So essentially I have this equation cropping up when I square and add it up. Right, so essentially this is my equation. Now from this equation, it's very clear that I can find out the value of sigma n. And what is sigma n? Sigma n is nothing but sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy 
whole square. Let us bring this tau n in this side. So tau n whole square. So uh, yeah, root over. Well, put a plus minus sign here. Plus sigma average. Now, this equation is pretty important, right? Now, from this equation, we can find out the maximum normal and the minimum normal stress that are essentially the principal stresses. How can we do that? Now, essentially, principal stresses occur when shear stress is equal to zero. So, tau n must be equal to zero. So, I omit this term out. Now, sigma, the maximum value of this will occur when sigma, if it's equal to sigma 1, if the maximum value of sigma n is equal to sigma 1, then the maximum value corresponds to sigma average plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy whole square and sigma 2 which is the minimum value of normal stress is equal to sigma average minus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy whole square so essentially from this lecture what I have basically what I aimed at is understanding the whole concept of principal stresses principal stresses are those stresses are actually maximum and normal maximum and minimum normal stresses and they occur in those planes where in shear stresses is equal to zero so what I did first was basically I put I did put shear stress is equal to zero and found a two planes from here, from there which are essentially theta p and theta p plus 90 degree right so these are the two planes where the maximum normal and the minimum normal stress that are essentially called the principal stresses to occur next what I did was I found out the maximum value of normal stress and the minimum value of normal stress that is the magnitude of the normal stresses in the next lesson what we'll try to do basically is understand the concept of mode circle which is a very very interesting thing and it will come directly from this equation right so let us see you in the next lecture thanks a lot